if if you're a longtime listener of this podcast, then you know two things about me. Number one, that I come from a long, long line of proud, proud narcoleptic Norwegian plumbers. When you see me, the first thing you think, oh, this man must be from Norway. And then you learn, wow, the, he's an he, a narcoleptic Norwegian plumber. My grandfather was a narcoleptic Norwegian plumber. My great grandfather was a narcoleptic Norwegian plumber. I come from a long line. No, that's number one. And number two, that I am a lover of history. I am a regular historicitarianist, which is actually a technical term that only us historicitarianists use. But I'm also a storyteller with my own unique style. And so what I like to do is I like to get a story from the history books and I like to rework it via the prism of my own unique mind. And that is what this segment is, a new installment of our long running series, series, our series. This is our series, our long running series. I, I I swear everybody was in their room until I started the podcast and then everybody came out and said, now is the time to have loud conversations in the kitchen. But let's power through this. A new installment of our long running series. When I was whispering, they got quieter. And when I got back to speaking loudly is when they decided to engage in horseplay, engage in loud horseplay. It's so guys, you're literally on me. A new installment of our long running series, Steve's historical approximations or shap as the kids are calling it they're talking about it everywhere on the streets in the playgrounds at the gay bathhouses it's taking the planet by storm really really guys and this week i may i may have uncovered a massive conspiracy i'm gonna move to the bedroom if you guys are out of the bedroom i'm gonna move to the bedroom okay Jesus. I may have uncovered a massive conspiracy about one of the wealthiest men on the planet, a conspiracy that will no doubt rock the very core of society. Worlds will crumble, cities will burn. Mankind will never be the same. Or it's all bullshit. Either way, this is going to be good. Either I have uncovered a massive conspiracy that will no doubt rock the very core of society, or it's all bullshit. Either way, this is going to be a really good episode of Steve's historic approximations. So, this conspiracy theory, this conspiracy, concerns noted gazillionaire and semi-professional asshole Elon Musk. Woohoo! Sometimes an asshole, sometimes not an asshole. He's hard to get a real finger yeah. on or a finger up in. Yeah. yeah. He he's a he's a he's a bajillion dollar creepo that Galopnik.com called a modern day Henry Ford. And that's a truly great analogy because Elon Musk is rich, he's a genius, yeah. he is revolutionizing car making, he's trying to send mankind to Mars. And like Henry Ford, Elon Musk's personality is at best questionable. Um, yeah, he comes off as being in his own little world. Um, yeah. Supergirl actually modeled the character after him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, he's not uh, a good guy. Well, oh, yeah? Well, you know, back in my day... Superhero villains were modeled after Richard Branson. Yeah. So, so, uh, 
his personality at best questionable. For example, Reveal magazine recently published a shocking expose on the poor safety conditions at Tesla manufacturing plants. I have so heard that Elon... more than once, yeah. Yeah, so this is what Elon Musk did in response to poor safety conditions at his car manufacturing plants. He pulled a Trump How and started Trump? attacking he started attacking the lying media, calling them fake and liars and yada, 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 real Trumpian-like. He then announced a website that would rank news organizations by believability. By believability. Okay. Yeah, just, just like a crybaby. For a bajillionaire, this guy has, like, the thinnest fucking skin imaginable. Really? I, I, I did not... I, I... You know, because I don't care about his personality a whole lot. I haven't heard about him raping anybody yet, uh, and I imagine I'll find out soon if that's a, if that's true. But I, I am much more interested in, in in the work he's doing, frankly. Yeah, he's doing good work, but also don't make fun of him on Twitter because he will fucking destroy you. <laughs> and it's weird I'm for so a bajillionaire. <laughs> It's weird for the richest man in on the planet Earth to get really upset at some guy from Brooklyn calling him a dick. You yeah. know, I, I have to strive harder than that. But, you know, I, I, I don't think Elon Musk can do anything to destroy me that I have not already done to myself. <laughs> Yeah. So I think I think that, that might be a challenge for him. <laughs> then there was all this shit recently about unionizing. His workers wanted to unionize. We're going to form a union. We're going to form a Tesla union. We're going to form an Elon Musk union. We're going to unionize. So 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 Elon Musk responded his response to uni unionizing has apparently been to fire the unionizers. Which used to be illegal. Yeah. Yeah. There's, 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 and then there's massive swatches of Reddit with Elon Musk stories. Like I read a story on Reddit about a Tesla employee who, who got in trouble, who was scolded, who Elon Musk yelled at. Because he dared to miss a day of work to see his child get born. Oh man, that bastard! Yeah, you're gonna be dealing with that fucking kid for 18 years. Get your best back to work. Yeah. So, so the, the, I think the thing is, I read this on on one of the other websites that I was at. Elon Musk is passionate about what he does and he wants every single solitary person who works for him to be just as passionate as he is, but he makes billions of dollars and his workers make shit. Yeah. But also be just as passionate as I am. Like, like Ronald McDonald going, why aren't you fuckers happy as me? You know? <laughs> yeah. So, so Elon Musk is basically, it's funny that you said that about Supergirl. I didn't know that about Supergirl because yeah. I have right here. Elon Musk is basically the rich CEO bad guy in pretty much every movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I can I see that. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if Elon Musk announced, yes, we will be going to Mars and we will be releasing fully automated cars that run on fish oil and banana peels. But first, we have to shut down the rec center. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is number one we're shutting down the rec center i don't care that teens don't have a place to go oh i love it i love it even if we just wrote that as a sketch yeah yeah you know so, literally elon yeah. musk coming in to shut down the rec center <laughs> okay so that's Elon Musk, and I think I've done a pretty damn good job with explaining how Elon Musk is ridiculously thin-skinned and doesn't respond well to even the slightest bit of criticism, okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay. So keep that in mind, okay? Because now we're going to be moving on to the possibly real but probably bullshit but possibly, possibly crazy-ass conspiracy theory, okay? Okay. Maxwell is yelling in somebody's room somewhere. Um. 
I think I have a spare toothbrush okay. for her if she doesn't want her. So, oh my God, what is going on? Okay, so I recently got myself a tumbler. A tumbler, okay. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't you judge me. You that's have like no a... right judging me. <laughs> of course I do, Slugger. That's uh, that's Sarge. That's Miranda. I was gonna say Miranda. I know Miranda. So cool. Hi, Miranda. That was What's supposed up, Miranda? to be Miranda. Jesus, Miranda. I knew. I know Miranda. Miranda. Of course I know Miranda. Miranda. What's up, Miranda? You doing good, Miranda? Hey, Miranda's here, buddy. Miranda's here. Who's Miranda? So. Oh, you know Miranda. So I recently got myself a Tumblr, and uh, I'm not telling anybody what the name is because it's mostly filth, and I deserve my own corner well, of the world where I can, can be, you, I can. Can you tell me what Tumblr is exactly, though? Isn't it like a it's blog? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 basically like an like an alternate universe Facebook where people just. <laughs> Post random things, and you can kind of pick and choose what you like and what you're into. I focus. What well, I one guy is only into conspiracy theories. This other guy only uh, posts Bob's Burgers porn. You know, like weird stuff like that. You can choose what you like. Natasha's is mostly supernatural. You know, like you can choose what you're into. Mine's mostly dirty. So, so I was on Tumblr, and there was a picture that someone had shared. Yeah. It seems to be a screenshot of Elon Musk's Wikipedia page. Now, a few things. Number one, I do not remember who shared this. I went back and tried to find who shared this picture of e a screenshot of Elon Musk's Wikipedia page. I have found no record of the person who shared this on Tumblr, number one. And number two, I have repeatedly gone on Wikipedia. I have yes. repeatedly gone on Elon Musk's Wikipedia page, and there seems to be no record of this passage ever existing on Elon Musk's Wikipedia page. Okay. But if anyone could possibly have the power to erase this, uh, yeah. it's, it's Elon fucking Musk. Yeah. So I happen to save the screenshot. It's here on my phone, and I have it right here in front of me. It, it, this screenshot seems to be a passage on Elon Musk's Wikipedia page that describes his early successes. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to read to you this passage that I found I, and, and that, that I, I have not been able to find again. I just found this. Take it what you will. Here is the passage that, that I found. Okay. It says early success in bold. And then there's, you know, in brackets, edit. And then here's the paragraph that it supposedly said. Musk became a millionaire after the sale in 1999 of his corn, K-O-R-N, the band, of his corn fan site, cornfreaksunleashed.angelfire.com. Oh, my God. Angel Fire. Angel Fire. The site was highly regarded in corn fandom for its note perfect base tablature. In August 1999, Musk posted an article in which he determined to a high degree of mathematical certainty that Feldy's slap bass riffs were largely copied were largely copied from interstitial music used on the TV sitcom Seinfeld. Okay. Now, I don't know a lot about corn, but I've heard the music of corn enough to be able to say that yeah, uh, when you hear the bass from corn a lot of that can sound like boring background music from Seinfeld. It has a very Barf. boom, 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 boom sound. Barf. Yeah. 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 Corn's management fearing a damaging lawsuit. If the notoriously litigious Seinfeld were to become aware of the theft, 
bought the website from Musk for $2 million and deleted all trace of the article. Nice. That is what this screenshot says. So I have searched Google. I have searched Bing. I've Alta Vistaed it. I've asked Jeeves. Hell, I even Yahooed it. Just kidding. No one is that desperate. No. But nowhere on the internet is there any single mention of Korn and Seinfeld, of Seinfeld and Elon Musk, of Elon Musk and Korn. Nowhere. There is no record of this screenshot being real. So that means one of two things. Yes. Number one, that this is bullshit. Right. Or number two, this is real. And because it's Elon Musk and because uh, Korn doesn't want to be sued and because uh, Seinfeld loves to sue people. There's no record of this existing on purpose. Well, didn't we establish that with the $2 million payout? Yeah, yeah. Bought the, yeah. Uh, Corn's management bought the website from Elon Musk for $2 million and deleted all trace of the article. Yeah. That's, that's either bullshit that someone came up with, or this is true and Elon Musk and Corn are hiding it. I don't I've think got, it's so hard to have things taken off of Wikipedia, though, either. I, I think that if you were able to show if that something was incorrect, they would they would take that down. To the best of my knowledge, I've never actually tested that. But, you know, Elon Musk, if it's if it's his wiki page. He would be able to say, no, that's not accurate. And he would be kind of the authority when it comes to his wiki page. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I have sent you the screenshot. Okay. And basically, like, my hands are up. My hands are up. Either this is a massive conspiracy or it's just bullshit. But either way... Elon Musk is pretty goddamn weird. <laughs> I don't know Corn, the band Corn, that well. I Neither also went to Corn's. I. I also went to Corn's freaking Wikipedia page and found no record of it there either. But that might be on purpose. It really that, is kind of a toss-up. That may very well be on purpose. So you heard it here first. Elon Musk, conspiracy theory. Jerry Seinfeld, the band Korn, freak on a leash. Angelfire.com. And no one uses Yahoo. You heard it here first. Yes, angelfire.com. That's so... Yeah, man, that's so 1999. (laughs) Yeah. So listen to this Steve's historical approximations now before Elon Musk takes it down. And before Elon Musk shoots up, a, shoots up a, a Louis diner or a Louis bar or whatever it was. Louis bar and grill by Lake Hefner before Elon Musk silences us. Tell our story mm-hmm. is what we're saying. Tell our story. We deserve to be remembered. We gave yeah. you, we gave you, months of free entertainment yeah if we yeah. if we added up all the hours that we've actually published i, I i'm oh, betting Jesus. that would come out to months yeah yeah so that is it for steve's historical approximations this week or shap as I like to annoyingly call it repeatedly ad nauseum, whether anybody likes it or not. And we here at the Pope on Film podcast do sincerely hope and pray that you all enjoyed getting your goddamn learn on. Yes. Be sure and join us next week, next next time, for more Steve's historical approximations, for more Shap. We're going to be talking about Godzilla. 
we're going to be talking about uh, Japan, and we're going to be talking about Matthew Broderick's sad fucking face. Yes. Next week on Steve's Historical Approximations. And cut! <laughs>